I first met Dan about eight months ago. He found me online and robotic prosthetics have always been something he's really interested in. We met up with him in a pub quite recently to find out what he hated about his prosthetic hand. This is actually his hand. <laughs> um, and what he really doesn't like about it is how clunky it is, how heavy it is. Today is going to be what I believe is the first time anyone has ever used commercial technologies like 3D printing and 3D scanning to create and fit a robotic prosthetic hand to an amputee. I'm slightly nervous because I'm worried I might break it because uh, I, I used to do that with the old Meyer electrics and stuff but yeah I'm really excited. My mum's going to probably kill me for saying this but when I was a kid I used to get prosthetic hands just so I could have time off school because I hated it. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's perfect. Does it? That feels like you know when someone's broken their wrist or something you know one of those um, I don't oh, want to break my arm but yeah I've got one of those. You always yeah. Can try those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's already better than my hand right there. <laughs> it was so weird to be able to just clench and then hold that person's hand, especially being close to my brother as well. It's, yeah, it's quite emotional in a way, because it's just like, yeah, I finally can shake and it feels right, you know, it's, it's good. It felt so, so real as well. Like, actually, like, it was, yeah, actually him grabbing me rather than the machine. You know, I want to be that person to show people you shouldn't be afraid of who you are. You know, it just feels like, just nice to be able to help and it's going forward in the future, so yeah.